Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So, let's get a little Halloween-y with it and go with a very Disney Halloween character. And what a better character to do a Halloween theme off of other than Jack Skellington from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's do it. Okay, so Jack is pretty darn easy and I found this really cool like concept sketch of him and it's super easy and it looks super fun and we're gonna do his whole body it's gonna be great okay first what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a circle okay not too big not too small just go ahead start with that circle all right um, but what we're gonna do I'm gonna make I made it a little bit too much of an oval but I'm gonna bring it up just a bit and then I'm gonna come down and around you know, I want it. I want it to have a little bit of a peak on top of his head. All right. After that, let's go ahead and start laying out the rest of his body. We'll come back to his face later. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and you're going to come down from right here at the bottom of the circle, and you're going to come on the other side of this circle. And first, we're going to draw off this side first, which we're going to come inward right here, and then okay. So this is going to be a little bit of a space right here. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring it out and down and just kind of curve it as it gets closer. They will get closer to each other, but this side, at this part, it will be a little bit more wider. Okay, after that, what you're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to draw a circle right here for right now. Okay, after that, what I want you to do next is you're going to come off down from beneath our circle. Okay. And you're just going to go ahead and give him some shoulders. After the shoulders, what you're going to do is this side right here, we're going to come down from this side of our shoulders, we're going to curve inward, and then really curve inward, come down, stop, and then you're going to come off this side right here. This side's going to stay out just a little bit, and then it's going to come closer to this side. And we're going to stop right there for right now. Okay, so go ahead. I'm going to just adjust this a bit. So it's nice and curved and it's going to start to go outward. All right, so obviously we just made his awesome rib cage and a part of his suit jacket and everything. So let's go ahead and piece this together a little bit more. You're going to come down from right here and on this side. You're going to come inward and you're going to come right here and you're going to stop. Okay. After that, you're going to come on this side, come down, and meet the other side. But generally, this side will be coming out more this way, since his chest is poking out a bit. Okay. Alright, after that, let's go ahead and jump off to this side right here. What you're going to do is, you're going to come off this side of the shoulder, we're going to start right here. What you're going to do is you're going to come out very long arms, specialty of Tim Burton. And they are spaghetti arms, so they're just like our Adventure Time characters. So we come down from here, so I just, I okay, for right here, actually what I'm going to do, I need to make more of this little indent coming outward right here. And that's when I'm going to come right here and I'm going to make this a little bit wider just because it's a suit jacket and it's got some space right here. Okay, so we have this solid line right there. Okay, so let's get back to his arms. Okay, after that, from right here, what you're going to do is this part is going to curve inward and to his chest. So we're going to stop right there. Okay, after that, let's go ahead. I'm going to just draw a circle right here for right now. But I'm going to come up on the side of this circle. And I'm just going to come up and match up with this side. Okay. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to the other side. And draw his other arm. Okay, so what you're going to do with this one is you're going to come down again. And you're going to come up, let's say, all right, so we're going to go a little bit more off right here. Okay, made that somewhat symmetrical, so I'm going to start my bottom of his arm right here. Okay, so this part, this, this line's kind of curving inward. See how it's curved like that? 
okay? Now, since I've come down to right here, that's when I'm gonna go ahead and come from this point and come down right here, okay? Now I'm gonna jump to this side right here and I'm gonna match my spaghetti arms, meet to the corner, stop, and then I'm gonna come down again and it's curved inward once again. I'm gonna close it off right there, okay? Should I make it a little bit longer? That's the thing about Jack, he's got such long arms. And you can never go wrong with Jack in giving him super duper long arms because he's, he's got, he's ginormous arms. Okay, so long. All right, anyways, after that, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put a circle right here, okay? Then, let's go ahead and start piecing a little bit more together of his body. So, let's come off right here, underneath our circle, and you come, you're gonna come down right here, and you're gonna come down right here, okay? So I'm gonna just go through my arm right now, just so I can have that guideline, okay? I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna go through my circle guideline, and then I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna come right here, okay, I'm gonna come to, from this line right here, stop right there, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and bring down this whole line. See, I'm going off the page. Yay. Alright. So, what I want to do next is from this line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up right here where I drew this line. And I'm just going to give a little bit of a gap. And then I'm going to come down and make another line down this way. Okay? This has got to be shaped up just a little bit. I'm going to come down from my little th <laughs> thigh gap. <laughs> He, his thigh gap game is strong. Okay, so I'm gonna come down over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it like his arms, spaghetti arms, and then I'm gonna come off to the side and I'm just gonna make an, his other arm, I mean leg, gosh. Okay, come down, match that. Good old spaghetti legs and arms. And then what I'm gonna do from here, he's got his tail coat and it's kind of blending in together almost, but I'm gonna come off to the side, I'm gonna curve out in here Okay, and then I'm gonna curve downward, make a little bit of a ragged tail coat, another piece of ragged tail coat, come up, another piece of ragged tail coat, and then I'm gonna come down from this line right here, and I've got this long tail coat coming out this way. And then this particular image, all of his lines are kind of combined together, so he's blending in together with his stripes and everything on his um, fancy, fancy schmancy, you know, Suit, suit, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's focus on his hands a little bit and that way we can piece together the rest of his like sleeves on his coat and everything. So, he's got skeleton hands. We're not gonna go that crazy, we're just gonna do some basic hands like they have in the image. So, we're coming from our circle, we're gonna start right here in the circle and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out and up like that, okay? And come down and in and you're gonna come in right up below that line, okay. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and bring this in, okay. And I'm gonna come underneath that line right here in the middle. I'm gonna bring that in. So his his hands like folded, like you can only see it like this. I don't know, like the outside. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. I'm gonna get rid of these guidelines so I can see what I'm doing just a little bit better. But of course, this finger is curved upward and this one's mirroring the bottom and then the rest of his hands just hiding because he's got it folded and then we've got his thumb what we're gonna do we're gonna come back to our sleeve what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up over and you're gonna bring out that thumb a little bit just like that so I come from my sleeve I go inward make a little hill go inward again and then I come in right here, and then I connect to the finger, okay? So after that, what you're gonna do is just, this is just gonna go and blend in. He's got it folded in some weird way, I don't know. So I'm gonna come inside my thumb, two lines here. I'm gonna jump up, two lines here. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down below, two lines here, and then two lines here, and then I'm gonna chop off the top right there, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna come below here, two lines, and then two lines. Awesome. Now, weird looking skeleton hand. Try to not make it as difficult as possible. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off to the side right here and close off that sleeve. Right there. Awesome. Now, from this hand right here, what we're gonna do is his hand is kind of like this, you know, it's like, like that. I don't know. Anyways, but it's kind of like folded back to where you can only see his fingers. So, all right, let's give the top of his hand right here. You're gonna make a line. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out and we're gonna just rough sketch it for right now. So I have a finger here. I have a finger here. They're curved. They're actually curved in, okay? They're folded over almost. All right, so match that up. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna come off this side like that. All right, so what I did was I went ahead and gave his knuckles right here. So this is his knuckles and his fingers are actually like this. So we're only seeing the knuckles like right here the knuckles and they're, it's like oh my gosh it's so hard to show you guys honestly you probably know what i'm doing so I don't know. <laughs> anyways so what i did is i made the top of his knuckles right here and then i go ahead and i separate this out a little bit into four sections to make it look like his fingers are curved like that okay so i did that and then i come out with his thumb right here like that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead I'm gonna divide these fingers up into skele more skeleton fingers. So I've got two lines here, 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 and two lines here. And then I'm gonna come off, chop the top of his thumb off, and two lines right there. So you've got skeleton fingers going on. Okay, so this sleeve I like. I like the way it is, and I like how it's bleeding down into his hand and just coming behind that way it looks like his hands more folded over and everything okay for his bow tie what you're gonna do is from the bottom of our circle that we drew underneath his neck you're gonna come down right here and you're gonna make a little bit of a triangle then you're gonna come up underneath his neck and make another little triangle right here I'm not sure what his bow is it looks kind of like a it looks like a bat's head so I'm gonna go with that so all right under after the triangle underneath his neck what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up off to the side and you're gonna curve inward right here and then you're gonna curve inward right here. Okay? Make it nice and blend it in with each other. All right. So, yeah, I think it's definitely a bat's head just because it's bat wings and everything. Gosh, Percy, you're an idiot. Okay, so I'm gonna come off over here and I'm gonna make a line out this way and I'm gonna make a line out this way. And guys, you can't go wrong with the bat tie, the bat bow tie, whatever. You can't go wrong with it. You can be as long as his arms or whatever. You can't go wrong with it. Get crazy with it. I Means Tim Burton. He's awesome. So he gets crazy with his characters. So I'm gonna jump inside the bat's face and I'm gonna go ahead and give him little eyes. And you're just gonna make it like the shape of almonds. Uh, don't make fun of me for the way I say that. Okay. So I make these little eyes and nice little slant, slanted eyes. Okay, evil. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come off at the bottom. I'm gonna make this line right here, and then I'm gonna come under and I'll make this line right here. It's kind of like making Marceline's bats when I was teaching you guys how to make Marceline. So, after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another line out this way, and it's gonna come in the middle of these two lines, and then I'm gonna come and make a line out this way, in, the, in between these two lines. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the top, I'm going to go inward, and then I'm going to go out, in, okay, go in, out, okay, I'm going to jump over here, do the same thing, in, out, go into those lines that you made, come down a little bit, down, and connect crazy bow tie it's awesome and of course this is divided up into lines as well as his suit so what I'm gonna do 
is, is we're gonna treat it like a smiley face. We're gonna come down from right here. You're gonna come down very close to the edge. And then this is gonna come up and curve upward and over this way. Okay. Jack makes me swoon. He's such a fun character. He makes me swoon, swoon, hashtag swoon. I don't know. Anyways, so I just made this nice line. I'm gonna go ahead and clear it up just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing and just be able to make a good solid line instead of just sketchy marks, okay? So I've got my good solid line. That looks really bad. There we go, that's somewhat better. Better than usual. There we go, awesome. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off right here. I'm gonna make a line. It's gonna come up, around, close to the edge of the face, but not too close. Make sure you make this little indent right here. And then this is gonna circle back up and into that dipping part right here. Just like that. Okay, after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come off right here and this part's gonna come up and be a little bit bigger on this side and curve into that line. Okay, so this is when we fill it in just a little bit just to make it all blend in nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in his eye right here. But then I'm gonna make this part, I don't know, I guess, I don't even know what that's called, the tear duct almost. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and you know, I'm just blending it in nice and easy. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back over here and here's his other tear duct, but then we've got his eye over here. We're just kind of blend it in together because you know, his face is turned off to the side because you can see his body's turned off to the side. So we're getting the side of his face a little bit. And I guess this is where like his eyebrows, whatever. I don't even know. He's a skeleton, okay. So I'm gonna make that a little bit rounder right there, round off that corner. All right, and then I'm gonna come inside right here, make a little dot here, and then a bigger dot right here just because his face is turned in a way. Quite cute. Okay, now let's jump to our smile. And it's quite easy. Once again, you can't go wrong. You can never have too many slits down his smile. So it's just a little slit here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Okay. Now, see, we all, we probably have all seen the movie. I mean, you see how crazy his teeth are, so you can't go wrong with Jack's teeth. Oh, well, for his stripes. Okay, so we have one main leading stripe that's coming down the middle of right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring that stripe down here. And then I build up off from those stripes. So I'm gonna come off this side and build a stripe down this way. Then I'm gonna build a stripe down this way. It's kind of bleeding into this, and this is coming off right here. Guys, you can't go wrong with the stripes. And this comes down over this side, down here. We've got a stripe coming down from here. And this bleeds in right here. And of course, this carries down. I'm just gonna go through his hand. Stripe. Stripe, stripe, and then I can start new with stripe, stripe, down here, this way, this comes down. Can't go wrong with the stripes, guys. Go as crazy as you want. All right, more stripes there. And then we get to the arms, then we switch directions. So we kind of come up over here. We come from down here. I'm trying to get the top of my shoulder right there. Come down. Okay, and then and I come inward right here. Okay, come over here. And then we make a little stripe here because it's underneath his armpit. Stripe down that way. This way. A little stripe there. And then we come right here. Stripe. Stripe. Can't go wrong with the stripes. It's wonderful. Okay. And then we've got 
So we already have a few good stripes going on in his bow tie, but it's just basically stripes starting from the inside. Just come out. To the head. Wonderful! There you go! There's Jack Skellington for Halloween! I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. I, I really I, I love dressing up. It's so much fun. Um, I'll post a picture of what I'm going to be for Halloween. It's a surprise! But yeah, I'm excited for it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fun, safe Halloween. Check the candy before you eat it, okay? Don't eat no sh shady candy or bad things happen, always. But yeah! Have fun. Don't get too crazy on candy and drive your parents out of control. Nah, have fun. Drive, drive your parents out of control. It's a Friday this year. It's fantastic. Have a wonderful week, guys. I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.